A year ago, Kim and Daggy took fright at the bird lady. Help! <laughs> the birds in cages, I can't ever imagine why. They have to be free. I'm, you know, I like to be free. We're standing in a giant pony yes. bird cage. Yes. No, She's no. throwing rubbish she in her cell. She needs help, this woman. I don't like doing housework because it is boring. Boring. Ah. <laughs> it's a complete mystery to me. My dicky birds. My little dickies. Oh, they are so beautiful. You'd better have kept cleaning, bird lady. Kim and Aggie are coming back. Quite an attractive place. Yes, I know. I've never been here before. Might have always had to be in Maid Marion, you know. I suppose that leaves me as the little man in the green tights. Well, of course, naturally. I think it's right here. Oh, the dirty beggar. Zany songbird Corinne Graham is a successful Eurovision songwriter who loves to hang out in her lounge, relaxing, eating, and bashing out tunes. <laughs> All in the company of her 11 beloved birds. That's Brittany, that's Ricky Woo, that's Jerry, that's Sylvie, that's Yellowhead. That's a very pregnant Maisie. And over here, Miss Moshi, then you've got little blue one, which is Robbie W. That's Charlie Bubbles Bum Bum Bird. And last but not least, Billy Bong John, have a lot of power at the third. Colin's captive audience has scored a few hits of their own. It, the birds come first with Crean every time, but when I come up, it's very hard to find somewhere to sit because of the bird poo. Oh dear, this will be a tough one for the nation's dream cleaners, dirt detective Aggie McKenzie and cleaning queen Kim Woodburn. They'll be spitting feathers when they see the state of Corin's nest. Let's get stuck in. Oh, I'm really, I'm, the, the strength is in me. <laughs> Disgusting! What is that? It smells like a farmyard. <laughs> no. Shh! Don't be quiet. <laughs> Kim and Aggie don't normally get in a flap. But every inch of this room is covered in festering feces. Oh, I'll just don't try to keep quiet for the birds fluttering. Everything is covered in feces and urinating, and if you touch the sofa, the. the oh. Oh, look, look. Chicken, isn't it? This, is, this isn't a bird that landed here ten years ago and it's, just, it's, just a, it's forgotten to move. Kim, 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 look at this. Look at the oh, back of the head. Look how black that is with grease. We're standing in a giant, stinky, pony yes. bird cage. Yes, we are. Yes. Look, 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 the weak dishes. She never No, nope, she just waits till she kitchen. runs. It's right. all chicken bones. Look, there's five this. plates here. Don't chew the birds, chew the birds. Can you get it? Lordy, lordy, look at this. Nothing is sacred. The songstress's instrument is covered in droppings. I don't know what to say. Come in, stay with me. I think I'm to keep quiet, but it's very... Shh! 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 You know, I will say, I don't know how people can live like this. Well, I really mean it this time. I've never meant it more. You know what, Aggie? This is, it's frightening and horrible and beastly. I don't... Look at these getting ready. It's a complete on. mystery to me. These birds may be living in paradise, but Corinne's kitchen is no Garden of Eden. Garlic. Oh, ancient! Look! Look how old it is. Look at this. There's no life in it. Oh, oh, it's, it's naffy, isn't it? She's she's filled the bin. She's then started just throwing it. Look, she's just bags of. This is just bags of rubbish. It's not just the floor that's doubling up as a bin. This is a sink. 
Oh, yeah. She's throwing rubbish in her sink. Okay, Kim, I dare you. I sniff that. Look at the bacon. You don't have to, my dear. You do not have to. Oh! Well, I've never seen anybody Ooh, look, look, throw, look, 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 throw look, rubbish in the look, sink. Look, 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 look. Oh, my dear. Oh, this is just so horrendous. It's like she's lost the way. She needs help, this woman. Nervously, Kim and Aggie venture upstairs. Luckily, it's a no-fly zone. Oh, golly. Look at all down here, Aggie, look. Look at the... Oh, Ags. Look. Mm. Look. Look, look. Mm. Oh, look at the dirty beggar. Well, I'll tell you something, it's the usual horrible dirt. Mm. But I'll tell you something, Aggie, compare with that lounge downstairs. Oh, oh, this, is a, this is, a, this is a, a haven, isn't it? It is, it's paradise. Time to confront this filth offender. Oh, God. But where is this woman in? Right. So? You I notice agree. the protection up here, don't you? Oh, yes. That, that's yeah. from the lane outside, isn't it? No. She's a comic cut, isn't she? Listen. This is to stop the, the, uh, the oh, doody... Oh, it's only Billy. Oh, oh, it's only Billy. Hello, Billy. This, dear, this is oh. outrageous. This is a massive bird cage, lovely. Well, I don't really notice it. You know, I think I'm becoming new to them. How can you not notice it? Yeah. Well, they're my babies, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> little diddlies. You've got to put them back of the cages. Well, they don't want to go in the cages. They're birds. They need to have big wings. Yeah, but you home. can't live like this. How can you sit in that seat and eat your dinner? Look surrounded by all the poop. When they come over, I don't notice. It's, it's Even your walls are spattered with I know. Yeah, well, you know what that is, don't you? What is that? No, you know if they do it on you, you go, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why have you called us in now, particularly? Because it's all got too much, right? I can't bear it. You so know, it is actually driving me crazy. And I think if I sort out my life this way, then it's nice and clean, the rest of my life will follow. I hope it will. I think so. Yeah. When you say it's driving you crazy, in what sense is it driving you crazy? It's just, it's just too much. Even too much for me. I mean. Yeah. You know, okay. I don't want to live like this, and I don't want people to think that okay. I live like okay. this. Okay, so you know? you're in a deep hole, and you need help in getting yeah. out of it. This filthy nest calls for reinforcements. A flock of cleaners is flying in for the day. Just be having you rattle those mops. Good luck to you all. Let's go, Ag. Kim's ready to ruffle her feathers, so it's on with the whites and out with the tape. Let the cleaning commence. Before this grimy guano can be scraped away, Corinne has the challenging task of re-caging her feathered friends. Sylvie! Oh! Birds and cleaning chemicals just don't mix, so they're migrating upstairs for the big spring clean. We're going upstairs. Yeah, I know you She's might treating these birds like babies, but you can't put a nappy on a bird. Can't no, you can't, though, can you? Unfortunately, no. I mean, this whole living room is an aviary, isn't it? Those birds have pooed that woman into submission. Oh yeah. She needs to get her room back. We've got to start with the lounge, though, haven't we? Because yeah. you know, even she's fed up with the lounge. She is. That's right. And once we get the place clean and show her how to keep the poo under control, then she'll be fine. Oh, pigs might fly. Before Kim gets to work on shifting this poo, I'm going to test it for zoonotic infections. Now, those are the ones that are passed from animal to human. And I'll put it in this sample bottle here, get the glove off, send it off to the lab and see what results we get. These surfaces have been under aerial attack for eight long years. Even Trafalgar Square gets cleaned more often than that. Corinne, now, got to battle this bird's doobies, yeah, haven't we? it's a bit globby, isn't it? Paper towel. Mm -hmm. In I go. Just warm soapy water, washing up liquid. You yeah. can use a bar of soap. You can use biological mm. powder. I'm just putting this in, whatever you want. Yeah. You've always got it in your cupboard, you know. Mm. And then I'd, that, I'd use anything to get rid of them. <laughs> well, I mean, it's so easy, lovely. Look at the difference. Then all I'm going to do, I've made a mixture of oxybleach. Mm. There's no smell to it. It's so diluted, mm. but it does clear bacteria. I put 500 mils of water, just cold water in this yeah. bottle, and I put 10 drops of oxybleach. Right. So read your bleach bottles, they're, di they're different strengths, mm. but thick bleach, not for this purpose. Yeah. It won't harm your birds, it's diluted too heavily, it has mm. to be. You can spray it on your wooden doors, painted doors, bits of paintwork. I'm not going to recommend spraying on a, a surface that you polish, but it's marvellous. It sprays on, it can spray in most places and it mm. takes every bacteria off. The clean team gets off to a flying start, but Aggie has discovered a potent pong. 
Right, Corinne, I've cleaned out your stinky fridge for you. Oh, and thank I think goodness. I know what the source is. Look at this. Oh, this. my God. No, I don't want to look at I it. suspect no. it's ham. I don't know whether it is ham or beef. It's six months out of date. Oh, you, know, yeah, you said your sense of smell wasn't that great, but you can get that, get can't you? away from me. You can get that smell, can't you? Oh, yeah, I can. That right. is Just grim. dump it away. With pleasure. <laughs> right. The fridge is clean now. Oh, God. And I'm going to get rid of any lingering smells with... Watch this. A lemon. Yes. Half a lemon. Mm. Take the fruit out. Mm. You're left with a citrus bowl and a bit of residue here. Yeah. Fill this with salt. Mm. Right? Stick it. Why are you ooing and eyeing? Well, it looks like hard work, doesn't it? It's not all that. Mm. Hard work. Well, yeah, it looks. Dear me, girl. Yeah, yeah. So, oh. this, put in the back of the fridge. The salt will absorb the bad smells and the lemon will give it a fresh, natural fragrance. I like the thing about the, the lemon, really. Yeah, you know, it's lovely and fresh, isn't mm. it? Nice. Meanwhile, carpet cleaner Dave is about to unearth more horrors. There's no easy way to break the news. You'll have to slug it to them. Oh, no. Uh, Kim? Aggie? What's it, Dave? Well, basically, it's that is slug trails, yeah. Disgusting. Oh, it's got a... That's a bit like the M25 on a busy day, that is. Oh. Look at that. All the lady can do is ventilate vacuum she will be living in a lot better environment well we've got to sort this out we need to try and persuade her to put the birds away for some time every day so she can get the air cleared and it will give her time to clean up as well oh dear watch corin squirm when she hears about the squatting slugs can you see that there that web yeah do you know what it is i have the fuckiest idea slug God. Listen to this because it's so important and it's going to hurt, but it's true. I hate slugs. Forget about the slugs. You can get rid of the slugs easily. Where do they come in from? They're coming in through the sliding doors. It's, yeah, just, yeah. it's because the atmosphere in here is so thick and heavy and dark because you're not ventilating the place. You're not ventilating the no, place because so you can't is. let the birds mm. fly out. So the birds are the crux of the matter. You've got to are they? Well, in... What, they encourage the slugs in? No, no, no. Forget the slugs for a oh. moment. You need to keep... <laughs> you, you don't want to face up to the fact that you've got to get the birds in the cage most oh, of the time. No. Haven't you? You are more important than the birds. Mm. Yeah, you've got to get your life in order. You're going to have to have the birds inside the cages more than outside really? the cages. It's the only way mm. It's the absolute only you way. You break the news to them. <laughs> I'll help you. The cleaning crusade is halfway through, but there are plenty of shocks to come. So Corinne could be eating bird poo. And Kim gets slippery with Corinne. No, not cooking oil, oh dear, please. Why Massage not? oil, please. <laughs> It's eight years since bird lover and songstress Corinne Graham last cleaned her home. Her 11 birds have been free to roam and, boy, have they left their mark. Kim and Aggie are restoring order, ensuring no perch is left unpolished. Now we're going to clean this lamp now. Oh. Unplugged it. This is Charlie's perch. But Charlie off will clean the lamp. Now, warm soapy water. I tell you something, warm soapy water is the answer to a great deal of cleaning, believe it or not. Really? The old-fashioned method. Now, look. I'm going to do this. I'm going to quickly rub it over. All right. And all this, I'm going to give it a really good do. Now, Karin, watch. This will amaze you. I have a Worcester sauce. And off we go. Mm. Now, watch. I'm going to do this. Oh. Now, I'm going to show you something. You see, it has an acid in it, the Worcester sauce, and that does clean. Worcester sauce? Yes, Worcester believe sauce. it or not. I will turn the rag over. Now, I'm going to take you... You should wash the Worcester sauce off because oh, it's got acetic yeah. acid in it, as is vinegar. Mm. You should never leave it on, whatever. Take the acetic well, acid the off. The light would cook it, wouldn't it? I don't know about that, but I think it might eat into it. Now, ha, oh, the old grandma's remedy. Newspaper. Newspaper. Always, yeah. Right. And we buff, dear, we buff. And tonight I've come up lovely. Oh. They reckon the ink helps to polish it. Really? And the paper is so absorbent. 
And it's a wonder. It was, this is very. I remember during the war, my mum used to use it on her windows, and some old folks do today. But look at that sheen. You don't recommend using that. Um, what is that? That brass polisher. I can't oh, I'm, no, no, I'm not opposed. Karen, mm. I'm not opposed to proprietary cleaners. They work yeah. beautifully. What I'm trying to do here with you is. If you didn't have it in and you could use um, a Worcester sauce, Worcester sauce, you can use a vinegar on that, you can use a piece of lemon. Mm. So it does work. And it's lovely to think, you think, I cleaned it with those things without having to go to the shop. While the clean team continue defeathering Corin's unruly nest, our bacteria boffin delivers his shocking results. What is probably most worrying is the massive and widespread contamination with bird mm. droppings across every surface in the lounge. If you consider that uh, bird faeces, one gram of bird faeces could contain up to 10 billion bacteria and there may be 500 or 1,000 grams of, yeah. of, of faeces distributed around the room. <sighs> that means there could be trillions and trillions of bacteria yeah. w within the room on those surfaces. Yeah. And how is this being transferred? Corrine could be touching the surfaces yeah. with her fingers. Will and then, be most definitely, yes. And then if she touches her mouth with okay. those, or even mm -hmm. a sample. We've then got direct fecal oral transfer of bacteria from the surface to the mouth and into the gut. So Corin could be eating bird poo. Well, she, she may well be. And of course, fresh um, yes. bird droppings are a greater hazard than those that have dried onto a surface because bacteria will be much more viable yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, in the fresh droppings. With poo passing from hand to mouth, let's hope there's soap to hand. Now, Karen, this little soap dish I found ground with filth and slime oh. from your soap. These four... Oh, where did you find those in, in there? your soap dish, dear. No. No. So what I did was, I did spend a bit of time, warm soapy water, the same as for the tiles in the bath. Yeah. I did this, I got it clean, it took me longer, it was mm. rotten. Then I took my wonderful paper towel, absorbent and sheened yeah. it, sheened it up beautifully. You see all sheeny? Oh, right. You see that lovely shine? Now, what I intend to do is I'm going to take some oil. Oh. It can be bought baby oil, some oil. baby... No, not cooking oil, oh, dear, please. Why Massage not? oil, please. No. Now, I'm going to put a little bit on here, and I'm going to put it over this dish. Now, I'm going oh, to... I'll no. tell you why... Oh, this is wonderful. And you're literally polishing it back off. But believe it or not, you've left sufficient oil on there. When you come to clean, the soap will slide off much more easily because yeah. of the oil you've put on. I think those were there when I moved in about eight years ago. Well, I don't want to hear that, I find it. I know. Just let me say that again. Those bars have been there eight years. Well, I think so. What, not the one on top, not that pink one down there. Yeah, the but other three have been the HS. I think so, yeah. I don't, do you know, I don't know what to say to you. You've shocked me. With just 24 hours left, the cleaners finish it all off with a flourish of scrubbing and buffing. 24 hours ago, food festered, bird poo lingered, and the kitchen was just one big dirty bin. Now it's a gleaming gastro delight. Anyway, don't move, don't move. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Oh. <laughs> that isn't lovely. Lovely and shiny. Yeah. Treat it, isn't it? You're going to keep it that oh, way. I will do on. my best. I will, if I do oh. wash the birds' bowls out in the kitchen, right? I know how to clean them now, don't I? Please don't say that to me. You know how to wash the birds' bowls out in the kitchen. The bathroom was a dingy, damp dump. Now it's pure polished porcelain. Open your eyes now. Oh! Oh my god! Look at that, it's clean! Mm -hmm. I like the way everything's gleaming and really shining. Oh, well, it'll stay that way, won't it? Uh, hopefully, yeah. yeah. Let's go downstairs and see wait, what else wait, we've wait. got. The lounge was an awful aviary splattered with bird poo. Now it's been preened by the dream cleaning team. Wow, wow! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Not a bit of bird poo inside. No, I'm just going to keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, something's missing. Yes, well, birdies are still upstairs because it's too soon to put them down with all the chemicals that we've used. Mm. But you need to remember how important you are in this house. Oh. You've now reclaimed your I living room. I suppose they did take over a little bit, didn't they? They did. You allowed them to take over. And, you know, come on, it's yeah. your living room. And they're sharing it as well, but they've got their own space. Yeah? Oh, dear. It's really important to keep it nice for you. I will. I will do my best. Don't we it? will be back and we will be having a very, <laughs> very close look. You'll yeah, no. be warned. Okay? Don't try that guy and wipe no, your I glass. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. We hope me. so. Thank yeah, you. you will On that be. note, 
Twelve months later, and our own Maid Marian's Kim and Aggie can't resist another peek. Ooh, ladies, is this wise? Oh, well, be prepared. Now, look, Aggie, get this on. Oh, do I have to? You do you want bird dude all over your coiffures? Hey, listen, is that Corrine singing? Can you hear? I made you cry, then had to turn away. What's all you need bird dude doing? Her squawking. Protection, Karen. Uh, do, 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 a year ago, Corinne's kitchen was transformed from hellish to heavenly. But what's it like now? Are you sure you want to come in here? Well, we don't know. Oh, no. You know, we get in oh, Corinne! It's, it's, it's not bad, my it's goodness. Bad, it's dear. very good. All this is tidy. I mean, mm. you can see the working top. It could be a bit tidy, but compared with what it was, it <laughs> came before we couldn't even find the sink. To put in a special effort. Well, not just for you. What makes you think I'm putting a special effort for you, eh? Yeah, all right, but it is. It's an awful lot tidy. A year ago, Kim and Aggie took fright at the fridge. Is it fearful today? Oh, my goodness, oh my me! Hey! <laughs> That's in here. It's very tidy. Well, like I say, I don't cook that much here. You're yeah. suitably impressed, are you? Yeah, it's a bit of hope home. on the horizon. <laughs> Can Corinne really have cleaned up her act? Where on earth are all the birds? Come on, come in. Hang on, these birds are not in no, cages. No, 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 no. We came, Corinne. You said you were absolutely fed up for it. Got on top of you. you oh, couldn't I do. Bear it anymore. So I've learned to live with it because I love them more. Corinne, this, this is dangerous living like this. Do. One gram of this poo contains up to ten million bacteria. Well, I don't mind. And look at how beautiful they are. The birds are beautiful, but yeah, your home is not do I? Your home isn't. It's just horrible. I guess. Yeah, I mean. Corinne, I remember cleaning that lamp. Look at it now. Well, the thing is, it don't work no more. You know, it's more like a perch now for them. Corinne, look at the state of the carpet. Yeah, you try and do it every day, but it's, you know... You don't do it every day. You don't day. believe a thing I say. Look into my eyes and tell me that you vacuum every day. I vacuum this carpet every day. You're not really looking into my eyes, are no. you? And what about this keyboard? We cleaned all this for you. Look at the birds, boo -boos. Yeah, but there's the keyboard in the world that hasn't got bird poo on it. Well, I so. guess we've got a situation here. We're never going to change you, are we? That's it very much. No. Never a true no, word, said Kim. But our hawks haven't given up on this cuckoo yet. All is not lost. We're leaving you with a couple of things that we hope you'll use. <laughs> Got here a vacuum cleaner. Oh, I wonder what that was. Now, not only will it vacuum the carpet, it will wash the carpet as well. Yeah, now, we'll also, listen, never mind, the goodies haven't stopped yet. I don't want you sitting on these sofas with all the bird poo. It's bad for you. Whatever you say, it's not good for you. I bought you lots of chair covers. You throw them over, and when they get dirty, please wash them. I will. Before our duo fly this nest, Corinne has one last request. Take a bite of bird before oh, you go. Bye, bye, you little darlings. Bye, bye Corinne. Bye. And the bird lady has one last surprise to make sure Kim and Aggie don't come back. Oh, my God! Wait for me! Every man for himself! <laughs> <laughs> well done! Look at that flaming bird for a lifetime! They're never coming back again! Ha ha ha!